From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Thursday, February 25th, 2016. In the news, a toke woman was arraigned in Fairbanks Superior Court Tuesday for her involvement in the $30,000 heroin bust last week. 52-year-old Joanne Weber pleaded not guilty to second-degree misconduct involving a controlled substance. Troopers arrested Weber for her involvement with Floyd Stuck, who faces multiple drug and weapons charges. Troopers arrested Stuck after receiving tips from the Toke community about suspected drug activities. Weber's next court date is scheduled for April. Mayor John Eberhardt says inebriates picked up by authorities may not be able to be dropped off at jail for sleep off next year based on warnings from State Corrections Commissioner Dean Williams. Williams anticipates the state may ban inebriate drop offs to jails within 12 months due to the recent deaths of intoxicated inmates. In response, Eberhardt says he's working with local nonprofits to form a recovery center that could mirror one already opened in Bethel. And testimony was taken yesterday on a bill that would require insurance companies to pay claims for women to get up to one year's worth of contraception at a time. Bill sponsor, Senator, Senator Berta Gardner, said she wanted to make it more convenient for women to get contraceptives, particularly in rural areas, to reduce unintended pregnancies. But Dennis DeWitt, state director of the National Federation of Independent Business, said it could increase insurance coverage costs for small employers. A quick look at the Fairbanks weather today, mostly cloudy, some morning flurries, highs in the mid 30s to lower 40s and maybe gusty winds in the hills. Tonight, partly cloudy with lows in the lower teens. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs in the lower to mid 30s. Extended outlook, variable clouds on into next week, highs in the 30s, lows in the low teens. Air quality forecast moderate in Fairbanks and North Pole and the Aurora forecast is moderate. And that's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. Tonight is your last chance to win 400 gallons of heating fuel from Alaska Fuel Services. See webcenter11.com for details. Don't want to miss out on that. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis reminding you CPR saves lives. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.